Representative Orcutt, we just passed House of Origin cutoff in the legislature, and it does not appear Democrats are interested in providing broad-based tax relief, despite another state budget surplus. What can you tell us about the status of your bill? Well, unfortunately, my bill isn't going anywhere. As recently as today, I have asked that the chair of the Finance Committee schedule it for a hearing. She was not willing to do that. So, unfortunately, we will not be getting broad-based property tax relief this year. There were a few wins for people who pay property taxes. Could you tell us a little bit about House Bill 1670? Well, I hesitate to call it a win. It just isn't a loss. 1670 is the bill that would have allowed local governments to, instead of being limited to a 1% annual increase in property taxes, to go by population and inflation up to 3%. And we know with inflation having been what it has been this year, it certainly would have hit that 3% cap. So it would have been a much more rapid increase in property taxes at the local level. Fortunately, that bill didn't survive cutoff. Another bill that didn't survive cutoff that would have also raised property taxes was House Bill 1022. And it sounded like a really good bill because it was for the veterans levy and disabled persons. Unfortunately, what they wanted to do is they wanted to take that out of the current local government levy, put it into another area of our tax code, and allow them to continue to collect the amount they've been collecting, plus this levy on top of it instead of this levy within it. And that would have been a tax increase as well. So fortunately, those two bills that would have led to higher property taxes didn't pass.